Patrick BB Show episode 50 and the host Patrick Day. Today is my 50 episode of the Patrick BB Show. Today we're doing free news, not doing two until next week. First news will be Ant Man and Vision to return for Captain America Civil War. Second one is Paul Greengrass Eyes Legendary Jimmy Hendrix biopic. Second is third one is sorry. Hugh Jackman confirmed Wolverine 3 is his last time as Wolverine. Here's the first news. Ammon and Vision to return for Captain America Civil War. According to a new press release, Marvel has revealed that after Port Ward starred in Ant-Man on July the 17th, he will return as the title character in Captain America 3 Civil War, which will take place in the after Avengers Age of Ultron. In addition to Chris Evans, the new Captain America film, we will also bring back Port Bentley as the Vision, Robert Down Jr. as Iron Man, Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier, Andrew Anthony Mackey as Falcon, Jimmy Renner as Hawkeye, Don Jenny as War Machine, and Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. The other actors included Jadwick Boseman as Black Panther, Frank Grillo as Crossbow, William Hurt as General Hatter's Thunderbolt Ross, Emily Van Camp as Kate slash Agent 30, Daniel Brill and Martin Freeman, Captain America Civil War is set to hit the theater on May the 6th, 2016. Comment below, what do you think of the two new characters return, Vision and Emma? Comment below in the Captain America Civil War. Comment below. Second news. Paul Greengrass eyes the legend Jimmy Hendrix biopic. It was announced near six years that legendary picture was keen on Dunham a big screen Jimmy Hendrix biopic with the hope of winning over the artist's Ellis State experience Hendrix. All through the project did not ultimately move forward. That line is today reported that legendary and experienced Hendrix has worked out a deal for a big screen take on Henrik's life. What more? Company Award nominee Paul Greengrass is in talks to direct. Henrik, who tragedy died in 1978, aged 27, nevertheless managed to receive others in model he widely concerned to be almost the greatest, if not the greatest. Cartalis all all time because of the informant of his ill estate injury will have access access to Henrik's full catalogue of recording. Greengrass most recently direct Captain Phillips and his set to his next return to the Born franchise for a still untitled fifth film that will offer the return of Matt Damon and Jason Bourne. Look for that film to hit the big screen July the 29th, 2016. Scott Silver, A. Miles, and The Father will proceed to screen play. For the still untitled Henrik's film, which will be produced by Thomas Too, Peter Upperman, Jane Henrix, John Janine, Janine, and John McDermott, Josh Pratt, man, 
and Julian She will serve as Skulu Pichuza. You can check out the news. Cool news! That's awesome. Last news before I go. Here we go. Paul. No, who Jackman confirmed Wolverine 3 is his last time as Wolverine. About two months ago, who Jackman hint that he will return at the Wolverine 1 last time for Wolverine 3. And now during appearance on Doctor the Doctor Oz show, the actor confirmed his decision. It is my last time. It just felt like it was the right time to do it, he said. And let be on a seventeen years. I never threw in a um, billion years it would last. So I'm so grateful to the fans for opportunity of playing it. I like have have in my head what we're going to do in this last one. It just feels like this. It's the perfect way to go out. Wolverine Free Wolverine Free will once again be directed by Jane Mango and is set to hit the theater on March the third, twenty seventeen. It's also women that Jackman will have a cameo in X Men Pocopolis which will be released on to May the 27th, 2016. Guys, comment below. Who Jack is the last Wolverine for the end? His last time I was Wolverine. Comment below. That's it for me. Patrick Movie Show, episode 50. I'll see you next week, episode 51. Peace out. Bye. Had a nice weekend.